Welcome to London, situated southeast of England in the Thames Valley, home to over 8 million people, capital of both England and the United Kingdom. Among the many things England gives to the world, being its language and its literature, what a fitting place to open by Queen Elizabeth II home. Get ready to walk London and beat the traffic while soaking up the view. Many landmarks are very close to each other, so walking can often save us time. I am Kizel Jackson Crookshank and welcome to Crash Class. Yes, today we are outside. Woo. Taking in all the fresh air. We are going to do some homophones. Homophone words are usually a source of confusion. But today we are going to make it interesting. We are going to make it fun. Yes. So let's start. I am in the open air. Any homophones yet? Air. So what type of air am I talking about? <sighs> Clean, fresh air. Is it H-E-I-R or is it A-I-R? Correct. It's A-I-R. So look at nature. Look at your environment. Look for the homophones. Tell me what else you can see. Look around. Look around. And you see the sky. Yes. And the sky is blue. Which blue am I talking about? Is it B-L-U-E or B-L-E-W? Yes, correct. It's B-L-U-E. So what else we can see? Is that another homophone there? What else do you see? S-E-E -E or S-E-A? S-E-E. -E. What else do you see? But if I ask you, are you seeing the Caribbean Sea? What sea am I speaking of? Is it S-E-E? -E? Or is it S-E-A? Take some time. Correct. It's S-E-A. Referring to the Caribbean Sea. And I think I just heard the birds chirping. Oh, just giving you a clue. Any homophones there? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I can hear. Which here is that? Is it H-E-R-E -E or is it H-E-A-R? Can you hear that? Correct. It's H-E-A-R. But if I say, wow, look at that beautiful flower over there. Is it T-H-E-R-E -E over there or is it d-e-a-r oh my dear correct it's t-h-e-r-e -E. so let's look for some more clues in the environment walk with me oh my what a beautiful flower wow isn't it beautiful? Ah, oh, and I see a B. Which B is that? Is it B E O or is it B E E? And that is B E E B. How about flower? What flower is this? Is it the flower F L O U R or is it F L O W E R? Are you having fun yet? Yes. It's F-L-O-W-E-R. Correct. And looking at the environment, remember we are looking for homophones today. And you see the beautiful tree. <gasps> what tree is this? Is it T-H-R-E-E -E or is it T-R-E-E? -E? Good question. 
correct. It's T-R-E-E, -E, tree. And how about if I were to pick one, two, three. Three flowers. One, two, three. Which three would this be? T-H-R-E-E -E or T-R-E-E? -E. Correct. It will be T-H-R-E-E. -E. Very good. So looking at the tree, it starts in the root. So every plant has a root. So which root are we speaking of? Is it R-O-U-T-E or is it R-O-O-T? And you just saw the B, but we did that already. Root, correct, it's R-O-O-T. Very good, you're doing very, very well. Are you applying for a job or just lost in the corporate world of abbreviations? Those job titles? I'll explain some of the main ones for you today. How about CEO, Chief Executive Officer, CFO, Chief Financial Officer, COO, Chief Operations Officer, PR, Public Relations, PRO, Public Relations Officer, HRM, Human Resource Manager. Susan and me went cinema last night, girl. Hmm. You will believe who I see in cinema. And just, just a moment. Susan and me, or Susan and I, do you know when to use I and when to use me by chance? Yes. So when do you use I? Hmm. All right, so when do you use me? Yeah. All right, I'll teach you a little trick. I is a subject pronoun and me is an object pronoun. So Susan and I would be correct because that is the subject pronoun. Susan and I, that is the subject of the sentence. So me there would not be the correct um, word to use because it's not the subject of the sentence. Me is an object. Pronoun. Me an next example? All right, take for example, today I went in Giles School. So if I say the teacher called Giles and I, would that be correct? The teacher called Giles and I, is that correct? Yes or no? No. Very good. But tell me why. Why, boy? Mm -hmm. Because you have to use. Mm -hmm. The teacher for a child and I. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to. Okay, what is the subject of the sentence? Well, who is in the action? The teacher. Can the teacher call? So the teacher is in fact the subject of this sentence. So then it will be the teacher called Jael and me. Because me here now will be the object of the sentence. So the teacher is the subject of the sentence. And the teacher actually, the teacher called. So Jael and me in this case will be the object of the sentence. So tell me the story now. So it'll be Susan and? Susan and mm -hmm. me. No, Susan and I. Yes, yeah, Susan and, and I. I. Because, because that is the subject of the sentence. So tell me the story about the cinema now, yeah? Hmm. Susan and I mm -hmm. went to 
to the cinema last night. Good. Fix me here while they're talking, him. Yeah. <laughs> oh God, yeah, I'm caught up with this. Oh Lord. Mm -hmm. uh, Jesus, Lord Father, and we need to speak proper English. Mm -hmm. We want to learn Spanish, and then you said no proper English. <laughs> you understand this thing, huh? Mm -hmm. What do you need to know again, girl? I wait to hear what going to happen last night. Oh. Where we meet Anne Bethel. <laughs> <laughs> so we have everybody here and these are all rescued animals but he, oh you love the camera yes i can see they're yeah, very poised oh yes very very poised pull oh, somebody in the back there trying to eat me all right just now just now you're good now come on, let's hear some food. These reptiles are so old, they existed when dinosaurs roamed the earth. And what does it really mean when it is said that snakes are cold-blooded? This means that their body temperature changes according to the temperature of their environment, unlike warm-blooded animals. Did you know that snakes use their tongues to smell? Despite often being feared, more people are killed by bees than snakes every year. Snakes cannot bite their food, so in order to eat large prey, they will unhinge their jaw to swallow the food whole. Snakes can open their mouths up to 150 degrees, allowing them to eat things that are 75 to 100% bigger than their own size. Today we are going to talk about the indefinite article A or AN. But before I address the indefinite article, I want to address you. This program generally is for every and anybody. Even if you may be saying, well, I can't read, it's okay. I don't have a primary school education, it's okay. I don't have a secondary school education. I never went to university, Kizel. I don't have a degree or master's or doctorate. And pay attention generally. I realize that as book sense increases, common sense decreases. I'm not saying that it is always true. If you do a survey in your area or in your country, to successful businessmen. A lot of these successful businessmen, you will realize some of them probably never had a certificate from an academic institution. Never. Some of them, they never had a degree or a master's or a doctorate. Am I saying it is a bad thing to have such? No, I'm not saying that. So I'm saying you are not excluded. Your common sense, yeah, it has a lot of value. And guess what? Your willpower to rise above the label, to rise above the stigma, is why I am here. So today, call out granny, call out your daddy, call out mommy, call out your children, call your neighbor. All of you, come, follow like us subscribe and learn no one is left behind so going back to what i initially said we are going to address the indefinite article a or an and that bright one in the back bravo 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 you are saying that you know it so tell me when do you use the indefinite article a Is that what you're saying? 
you use the indefinite article A before words that start with a consonant. And you use the indefinite article an before words that start with a vowel. So you might say, okay, I can give you examples. This is baby thing, huh? An apple, a cat. Got it, Miss Kizal? A cat because C is a consonant. And an apple because A is a vowel. Eh. That's not the rule. So today, Mr. or Mrs. or Miss, you are going to learn how to use the indefinite article properly. You use the indefinite article A before words that start with a consonant sound. Before words that start with a consonant sound. You use an before words that start with a vowel sound. Not necessarily a vowel, but a vowel sound. Let's get some examples. Come on. Team A versus Team B. Give you some time to divide yourself. Team A. Would you say a honest man or would you say an honest man? Bing! Correct. An honest man. Team B. You're wondering, but... How can we get this wrong? Because it is a vowel sound. So honest, not honest. You don't say honest, you say honest. You get the O-N sound. All right, let's go again. Do you say a hour later? Or would we say an hour? hour later. Bing! And team B, you're correct. An hour later. Why? Because an came before a word that had a vowel sound. Hour. It sounds like O-U-R. Sound. But it's really H-O-U-R. All right, would you say, okay, I know you all love to watch crime scene and the murder victim and you're relating to your friends, the latest episode of the crime scene and you talk about, oh, uh, a FBI agent or an FBI agent, crime scene investigators, hmm. a FBI agent or an FBI agent. Correct. An FBI agent. An. Again, we use an before words that start with a vowel sound. So FBI. You say, but FBI is F. What is this lady talking about? FBI, FBI. Listen to the sound. When you say F, F, F. You get the e eh, eh, e sound, like e f eh, eh, f f f. I I am not saying f you. I forgive you. Okay, f sound. So you get the e f. Eh. So it's an FBI agent. Okay, okay, okay. You bright one there, watching this program and just saying hmm. we knew that already. University students, would you say? A university student or an university student? A university student or an university student? <laughs> oh, 10 hours later. Yes. A university student. Why? 
because we use A again before words that start with a consonant sound. Oh, very good, very good, very good. I am so impressed with your level of brilliance. Yeah, university. Start with a U, which is a vowel, correct. But the sound, you get a Y, yeah. You, university, you, 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 you. Oh, brilliant, 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 brilliant. Bravo, 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 bravo.